Welcome to section 20.2 of Metabolism. In this video, we'll focus on memorizing the details of riboflavin, which is also known as vitamin B2. Let's get started. Have you ever been on a really awful date? I think most of us have, so hopefully you can relate to this scene. We'll start off by showing this oblivious guy enjoying some delicious barbecue ribs. So ribs for riboflavin. The fact that there's one rib in each hand should help you remember that this is vitamin B2. So two ribs for vitamin B2. Of course, he has his salt and pepper nearby to make his ribs extra flavorful. However, in this scene, the salt and pepper shakers will represent flavins, both FAD and FMN, which are used as cofactors in redox reactions. So just think of salt and pepper as a type of flavor, or flavin. Therefore, they represent that vitamin B2 is a component of the flavins FAD and FMN. The date was already awkward, but it became a bit more bizarre when he started snarfing down his ribs. He appears to have lost his manners because notice that barbecue sauce is now all over his face, including the sides of his mouth and his glasses. The barbecue sauce on the side of his face represents that a riboflavin deficiency can cause chylosis, which is inflammation of the lips and fissures at the corners of the mouth. The barbecue sauce on his glasses represents that a riboflavin deficiency can cause corneal vascularization. Hopefully this is pretty intuitive. The barbecue sauce looks kind of like blood vessels and the fact that it's on his glasses should make you think of the eye. So barbecue sauce on his glasses for corneal vascularization. His well-mannered friend is not very impressed. Her disturbed facial expression seems pretty fitting considering the situation. Unlike her date, she decided to just get a drink. As he's going to town on the ribs, she's silently sucking on the straw, thinking how this night is going to be a very long one. So think suck for succinate dehydrogenase. In other words, riboflavin is involved in the succinate dehydrogenase reaction in the TCA cycle. And that should be everything you need to know about riboflavin.